um, with a, a girl. We're going to call her name Rebecca. And uh, she was an ex Satanist. She's now a Christian. Um, but she shares a chilling testimony of what it was like when she was in uh, this Satanic cult right from childhood. So watch now. I was the fifth part of Satan, and my power that I ran with was my element was fire and you couldn't get any higher than what I was. I could move things without touching them and I could make people stand away from me and command the demons to go get people and make them push, get pushed away. I could protect myself in that sort of way and I really liked the power. You were taught concerning the things of the dark side of the supernatural at a very young age. Could you share some of that with us? I was really involved with the satanic church every day. Um, the high priest would come and get me and they would uh, take me to the church and they would um, they would violate me but and they would have we'd have communion every day and that consisted of blood and urine and semen and a black widow and that was yeah an everyday part of my life how did you feel about that i felt really scared but at the same time i liked the power that i had that they taught and i had inside of me because everybody has gifts inside of them and you can be influenced by the Holy Spirit or the familiar spirit, and I was totally influenced by the familiar spirit. I had Satanists around me constantly following me. You saw um, many very ugly things, like animals get sacrificed, even humans, and, and other really terrible things. Did it ever occur to you that this was evil? No, because I was so brainwashed at the time, because when I was four years old, I was raped and molested by a high priest, and I knew nothing else of all that stuff, and I was just brainwashed with the Satanism and knowing that Satan was God and God was not real. Satan was God for me. And I thought, yeah, I was so numb to it, really. How did you view Christians back then? I hated them because they had no power like... I heard so many times that, you know, God was real and, and Jesus was so true, but I didn't see the power working throughout the church. In fact, I saw Satanists working also in the church, and Satanists tied more than Christians do. One time I was sitting in a Benny Hinn conference, and I was being taught. I had two witches on either side of me teaching me how to put curses on Benny Hinn. And I saw a big, re big uh, light around him, and I didn't understand what I was seeing. I was seeing half men from the shoulders up, which were a representation of his angels at the time, because I think, yeah, that God was protecting me at the time. Or to see all that stuff would freak me out. And he looked up in the right... I was in the right-hand stage of the corner of the stage in the upper port, and he said, Do you three witches, um, you two on the either side of me, you're going straight to hell, turn to Jesus, or you're going to burn in hell, and I know what you're doing. And then he pointed to me, and he said, You're going to get saved soon. And everybody started praying, and I felt like tingling all over my body and I freaked out and screamed and they had to escort me out of the stadium. It was weird. It was like I didn't understand why we were doing what we were doing because he, yeah, he had a, a pure light around him and like I said before I, I saw colors and he had a white light a, like a bubble encased around him and I didn't understand why we were putting curses on him and they were like it was so brainwashed really what is the primary goal or purpose of Satanism yeah the pur their purpose is to rule the world what was your purpose 
My purpose was to get all the power that I could and to get as high up as I could. You have explained to us that um, there was human sacrifice that went on inside of the satanic church and inside of satanic ritual. Can you tell us how this was done? How did they murder people? Yeah. All the children's posters that you see that are missing, um, they're pretty much dead. They have underground caverns in the mountains and they keep the children and the kids and the women and men there. And then at a certain time in mid-September, October, they take them out and they're so... Remember when I told you I could make people get away from me? Like they'd make the people so numb with uh, curses and stuff and they'd also drug them up and they'd take a sacrificial knife and they'd start from the chest and move all the way down to your abdomen. And then that's how they sacrificed and they'd t collect the blood and they'd drink it. Um, when the mid-September through um, mid-November, they sacrifice babies and nothing but babies because they need the pure blood of the untainted children. And I was really, I didn't understand what it was like. I just can't believe I'm seeing this. Every, every year of my life, I've experienced that. And I was, that was the hardest part for me is like hearing those babies literally scream and cry. And then seeing their blood flow. It was horrible. Rebecca, where did they get the babies? Yeah, they have mothers that are expecting that they hold in the in the church and they also have people that they kidnap and they impregnate them through whatever and they get babies from everywhere. Why is it that no one knows this? Because there's Satanists in the police force and also in the government, the army, they're everywhere. They're even on the council of, yeah, the represent, representatives of the United States also. And they're silenced because this is not being exposed because they don't want it to be exposed. Because they're really good at lying and hiding things. Rebecca, what happens to the people that want to come out of Satanism? They get killed. They get followed. They get taken. They get sacrificed in front of the congregation of the Satanic Church. Why? Because they know too much information about the Satanist and who their names and places of where they keep the people underground and they just know too much information. There's no, it's like I'm being in a gang or in a mafia. You don't get out alive without consequences. Is this difficult for you to talk about? It's really difficult because, yeah, I feel really, really scared because I don't know. I don't know how to tell everybody that's out there that I came out because I'm not sure if anybody's going to believe this because it's so much like a fantasy. Yeah, warfare is real. We're born into a war. And, yeah, you'd be very foolish to not to understand that because demons are real and people are influenced by bad spirits.